more sign for go. Situation, Situation background, background assessment, recommendation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's up y'all, what's good? It's your girl, Nurse Carolyn B, back with another video. And today, I got my nursing besties with me. We got Young Apes, hey. okay, and Mean Girl, Young Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always so shocked? <laughs> I'm waiting for the viewers. I know. <laughs> this week, we have our first test. Me and April are in our OB rotation and Catherine's in med surge. Yep. So we're doing a little study group session. Pomodoro. Yep. Pomodoro method. Which is What's up y'all? So I just wanted to explain a little bit in more detail the structure we went about for the study group session here. Um, and one thing that we started with actually was the Pomodoro method. To break it down in simple terms, the Pomodoro method is basically a time management studying technique. It requires studying in intervals as opposed to studying straight for a few hours. Hey Google, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, and that's starting now. So how it works is we set a timer for 25 minutes and in that 25 minutes we're studying straight with no distractions without socializing or talking to each other. This is strictly studying by ourselves for 25 minutes. After that timer goes off, we take a quick break for about 5 to 10 minutes. Sometimes we do squats or pull-ups, something active, we stretch our legs or we might eat a snack during our break. After that break is over, we basically repeat the process for the next few hours. We try to get a good 4 to 5 sessions in, so about 2, maybe about 2 to 2.5 hours of studying. Why are you going to tell me you had a... Um... IG. Mm. The nursing community though is so supportive. I highly recommend making one for nursing. Really? I follow a lot of them. Like the um You get like, to connect and network with them. But why is that you getting big like with that type of stuff? Yep. Yes. I don't think I'm I don't wanna get big. I just wanna connect with like and learn from other nurses yeah. too. It's it's B, it's document. Oh, I said time. C too. I was thinking What's the C? The nurse should document the time the robotic portion of the procedure began, and that is it. There's no need for other intervention. Patient, I don't know. Maybe that's one of those trick um, questions. I thought it was. Um, and after that, we go into a group study where we collaborate with each other. So that's pretty much what we're doing here in this first portion of the study group. Hi. Hi. Who smells like rice? Of course. <laughs> Oh, oh, what's going on? This is Hi, Young babe. Erson. Oh, Young I, Reeds. Oh no, cause... Alright, so for the second portion of this study group session, two of my other classmates, Erson and Rita, came over to join us. Um, but first, we had to grab some food. We went to one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world, Maya Thai, and it is bomb Thai food. Three of us got the spicy eggplant dish. We have drunken noodles and the tam ka soup, which is a coconut based soup. Study vibes right now. All right, so so far we studied for a few hours by ourselves using the Pomodoro method. We got some food, we got a little workout in there. Now it is time to really grind down. Um, for this second portion of the study group, we study more collaboratively as a group. It's more interactive. We map things out on a whiteboard, as you can see here. Yeah, page five, table 1.1. 1 .1. She said, know the aspects of critical thinking skills. But if you look at that table 1.1 1 .1 in the book, it's an S bar yeah. table. So basically she said, oh, you guys have a different book, so I'm just going to tell you. So it's just prioritize so information, information really. relate back to other facts, and then review tests. Mm -hmm. 
You're probably wondering like what the heck are they saying? What is going on here? <laughs> so when we're learning something that is based more on memorization rather than grasping a concept is that we like to use mnemonics or phrases to help us memorize it better. So that's what we're doing here with the phrase PRR. And what do you want to decrease? To, um... Salt intake. Okay. And... What's my goal for the month? Uh, I should be. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Wow. Run that shit back! Play it again. Yeah. You guys study good. I like how you guys are related. What it do, baby? What it do? What do? Like for the whiteboard, team whiteboard. Like, comment, subscribe. Let them know what's up, young Reets. Like, comment, subscribe. At. Nurse Carolyn, Carolyn B. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we're live. live. All right, hey you guys. Flip, flip it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then face it towards you. Oh, that's oh. pretty nifty. Hey, a vlogger now. Yep, we're vlogging yeah, the vlogger. journey. Right now we're covering chapters eight. one, four, and six. So we're covering things that um, overall with OB, sentinel events, endometriosis is if you guys don't know, is tissue outside the uterus. Tissue growing outside of the uterus. <laughs> Look at these students, outstanding. A client is five months pregnant. On a routine ultrasound scan, the physician discovers that the fetus has a diaphragmatic hernia. The woman becomes distraught and asks the nurse what she should do. We also like to incorporate answering practice questions together. After we're done studying a chapter, we'll just Google some sample questions that pertain to the chapter we just reviewed. This way, we are able to um, apply the information we learned and also it helps us develop our critical thinking skills and gets us prepared for NCLEX styled questions. And, and you're right. <laughs> Why else? What else? No, I'm trying it's to make it because if we can't help the patient, we, we can refer, refer them. them. Yes. Oh. And it's I, not I, be because because you're not going to suggest them to travel you don't want somewhere. Them, yeah, to travel somewhere, and also you don't. It's not C because that's not therapeutic. Yeah, it's first not off. therapeutic. And D, it's dumb. You don't tell somebody. You can't say your opinion. Their pregnancy. Right. Right. That was, that's a, See, this is why I studied with y'all. Y'all be smart or whatever. Okay. She right. Another tip when answering these practice questions is to not only answer them, get the right answer and move on to the next question, but to actually go through each answer choice and understand the rationale for why that answer was correct or incorrect. A lot of the times, um, knowing this information will help you on future questions as well. Are you yes. tired? No, no, I'm done with my... Oh wow! Chapters. How was it? Wow! It's like post op. What What are you gonna look look at? Bleeding, after? bleeding, signs of infection. Oh, wow. Um, because of anesthesia, you gotta make sure you monitor the um breathing, the respirations. Um, mm -hmm. uh, blood pressure, because if if they're bleeding somewhere, then it's gonna go down, and you wanna um. Ooh. Prevent hypovolemic shock. Mm -hmm. Oh I mean, wow, like, she's a doctor. Uh, so. Ooh, wow. she did a, she's like a scholar. scholar. She's a scholar. Uh, wow. Yeah. So and if ooh. if one sibling has it, what's the percentage of the other sibling getting it? Twenty five. Is that what it was? Well, I think it's the same. I think it's twenty five percent. It's, it's the, it same, the same. Depending yeah, on the, the parents. Wait, where'd you where'd you find that? <laughs> uh, uh, well, the book said Wikipedia. The book said both parents having PKU or cystic fibrosis disorder, twenty five percent chance of child being affected. Oh yeah, I have that too actually. Or for, actually, for PKU. so each child would have a twenty five percent chance. So if like say you oh, have four kids, each. it's you can't be like oh well one of my kids will have it. No, each individual pregnancy will be there a twenty five percent chance. That was the one. It was like yeah. even if you have a kid that has it, your second kid Could still, still has the same it. exact percentage. Yeah. Even if the other person has it, yeah. does not have it. That's right. That's that part. Look, she's glowing. She knows the answer. Oh, wow. The sun is hitting right. <laughs> um, I'm not sure yet. Oh, drink that. She got that purple. I got that lean. I got that purple. I'm done. I am done with you. Can you 
can you like okay. blurry my face okay. when I said that so they don't know it's me? <laughs> yeah, right. The world go no. She's shy, guys. Don't forget. She's shy. Oh my god. Like, comment down below if she's shy, if y'all believe me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Dang. What does S4 stand for? Go. Situation, background, assessment, reputation. Wow. Three main signs of endometriosis. Hold on, hold on. Say one. This. What's this mean? Apes. Apes and record. How'd you find that out? How'd you find that out? Um. You want to see all the answers? Sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. Sheesh. What uh, what meds do you use for dysmenorrhea? And says I be like and Novanox. Okay. No. No, what? No, the the That's a dude. They they cook, they don't I'm keep testing. bleeding. So for endometriosis, what are the other signs? Abnormal bleeding. Infertility. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we studying? For real? Like, do we wow, what a waste. What a waste. <laughs> like if we should leave. <laughs> like if we, like if we, we should study. just shut this off. <laughs> okay. Take, Take the camera. Take the camera. Secondary usually happens later in life after the age of 25 years old. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Ooh! 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 She said. She said. She said what she said. Yep. That's right. Peer review. Seriously, period. Dilantin, which is for seizures. What is it for, Rita? That's right. Okay, let's move Dang. On. Okay, you guys are good. I really got that down. I got that shit unlocked. <laughs> I used to think rice cakes were nasty, but now I'm like, oh. Study break. <laughs> oh, wait, what the heck is that? We covered about. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, yeah, three, four. We covered like five oh. chapters today. And. Whoa, let's, go, let's, go. let's go! 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 let us Look at the fit. Oh, OTD. Oh, OTD. Let's oh, OTD. go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Wow. If you could do five, you'll get an A on the OB test. Ooh, five. Oh, let's go. Come on. Come on, five. Let's go. Let's go. The shake on the top. Three. Go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two more chapters. Two more chapters. That was just a little study break. Cause Ooh, about to be let's get it. <laughs> okay, we just finished our study group. We did about I want to say 11 hours of studying. We have certain key points that our instructor mentions that we should know for the exam. I know not all instructors give key points or study guides, but there are certain things that my teacher will let us know like this is important you should know this and if they say it in lecture we'll write it down today we mainly focus on those key points or the things we know will have a higher chance of being on the exam well we did seven chapters today so we did we covered more than half the material today study groups is a hit or miss for me i could only study with with certain people because not everyone studies the same. If you watch my video on my three top tips on nursing school success, being a nursing student, I mentioned about knowing your learning style and some people, they don't study well with groups. You may have friends that wanna study with you in a group, but you have to have that self-awareness to know if you're able to learn the best if you're able to learn efficiently and productively with the group and not because there are some city groups where i'm not productive at all today was a day where we got a lot of shit done so um yeah that's my two cents on study groups it works you just have to find the right people that work with you but if you know it doesn't work for you then that's fine yeah i don't know let me know how do you guys study i'm curious to know do you guys like study groups 
or do you prefer to study alone or maybe you're both like a lot of us we're we're both please if you enjoy this video give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe to my channel as well so you don't miss any future videos i'm gonna try to post weekly maybe bi-weekly if i could and also drop a comment down below i love to connect with you guys and chat with you guys you could also follow me on my instagram at nurse carolyn b where i'll probably post more of my daily activities and my school life on my stories if you want to see something more constant definitely follow me on instagram so yeah give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the no notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you next week bye